These people at Fox News have truly lost their minds. We're going to talk about with our panel, of course, uh, what happened uh, in at Barbara Hills. But listen to these fools talk about Trump and his trash ass sneakers. I mean, he talks about these MAGA threats and how it's unraveling society. I've got a couple of people I'd like David French to talk to. Uh, Justice Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett, and pro-lifers who had their clinics firebombed in the last year. I mean, this is completely unhinged. Look, there's a lot of violence happening in America. But to try to somehow throw all of that at Donald Trump's feet, even with those gold high tops, I think this is a bridge too far. But look, every time they try to say say Trump, they try to stop him at a trial or they try to throw all of this, uh, you know, sludge at him. He somehow survives, which must drive his opponents crazy, because even the sneaker thing. I was on social media last night. Very interesting. As you see, black support eroding from Joe Biden. This is connecting with black America because they love sneakers they are into sneakers. They love the You know, this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Question for you on that point, though. Yeah. Will the people that are excited about the sneakers and excited about Donald Trump, will that translate into them going out and voting for Donald Trump? Well, anybody willing to put 400 bucks down for a pair of sneakers? Yeah, I think that's commitment and love. I it's hope something. You're right. It's something. It's affection on, on some level. I, I don't think this is just for collectors. It's for people who want Donald Trump brand sneakers. That... Again, he's connecting on a different level. And, and uh, that I hope he brings new voters into the fold, though, because I have a feeling the people that are going to go buy the four hundred dollar sneakers were probably going to vote for Trump anyway. So that's my concern. How oh, yeah, well, how does he get new voters into the fold? That's my concern. Lauren, they really think black people are simpletons. Yeah. 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 They think black people are stupid. Uh, you know, we saw that with the whole Kanye West presentation. You know, they thought that they could just get a rapper out there and, oh, my God, there's a rapper out there. So we're going to black people are going to vote for Donald Trump. I mean, it really just doesn't work that way. And everybody knows if you look at these elections uh, that African-Americans overwhelmingly vote for the Democratic Party. Uh, and um, even even with Hillary Clinton, that was the case. Certainly with Biden, it was the case. Uh, Hillary Clinton getting more than three million votes than Trump, and then of course Biden get getting more than eight million votes uh, than Trump. There's no reason to believe that that's going to change. The the uh, the issue is at what percentage will the black turnout be? That is going to be the issue, not so much the percentages, but. Certainly, there is an issue with regard to black voters in this cycle. And President Biden, the energy is not there on Team Blue right now. And Team Red has a little bit more energy, even though these two candidates are, are close to the same age. But there is this tendency to throw out uh, very odd performative moments like the sneaker thing and like the Kanye West thing, which was extremely strange. Uh -huh. And of course, we're just like with the Kanye, Kanye West thing. It meant absolutely nothing, and I suspect the, the sneaker thing will mean absolutely nothing. We'll see. Greg, this is no different than the trash as platinum plan, which was their way of, oh, let's call it the platinum plan uh, because the Negroes, oh, they love the flashy stuff. Hmm. <laughs> well, brother, I tell you, I mean, we're talking about percentages. I mean, Lauren laid it out. If you're talking about lower voter turnout, and probably will be lower this time than in 2020, there's no pandemic, there's no Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Ahmaud Aubrey. And so you, you then concern yourself with who's going to go to the polls. Now, the people who would support Donald Trump in the Negro community, probably not going to vote. And I agree with Paul Rubens, uh, I mean, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I thought Pee Wee Herman, I mean, uh, Raymond Arroyo. I'm sorry, Raymond Arroyo. I, I thought for a minute I was looking ah, at Pee Wee. But, same thing. Right? Yeah, same thing, right? But but when he says that Donald Trump understands culture, he understands popular culture. 
And we know that Donald Trump was an icon for a lot of folk in the hip hop community. But those people are not going to vote generally. You talk about Kanye. I remember Kanye and Lil Wayne's uh, collaboration, uh, Barry Bonds. And, and, and I think the lyric, as Wheezy spoke it, went, uh, I'm so bright. Not shady, my teeth and my ice so white like shady, ice and my teeth so refrigerated. Then he goes, I'm all about my Franklins, Lincolns, and Reagans. Oop, I mean, uh, uh, whenever they make them, I shall have them. Nope, I mean, have them. I'm so crazy. Meaning what? If they put Ronald Reagan's face on a dollar bill, some of these Negroes in the hip hop community would get it. They don't care about the politics, they just want the money. And Donald Trump for them represented success. So this ploy is perhaps not aimed on growing the pie for voter participation for Republicans. It's it's aimed on chaos and misinformation. And anytime you got a community where some folks who are potential voters are going to argue more about whether Megan is in the right or Nikki is in the right, then then you've got a situation where you're just trying to shave off a few thousand here, a few thousand there, confuse a few more people here. Some people turned out, I don't want to hear anything about it. And there are going to be, make no mistake, there are going to be some Negroes in them gold shoes. And it ain't going to be Tim Scott and Ben Carson. There are going to be enough people to cater to this chaos, to create the chaos that the white nationalist party needs to distract folk from the issue. And, you know, and, and that goes back to the Texas story as well. They're after the 14th Amendment to, to, to strike all race laws. That wasn't a random email that they sent to uh, to that sister. They, they're playing the long game. We're over here talking about gold tennis shoes. 